Getting Australia's heavy vehicle industry the permits it needs as quickly as possible is a high priority for the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator. This ensures trucks keep moving and delivering essential freight to our communities and boosting local economies. Local councils play a key role in this as the owners of most of Australia's road network. The Moree Plains Shire Council in country New South Wales recognises this and has developed a strong relationship with its local industries and has put systems in place to ensure it quickly responds to industry needs to get key equipment and essentials into the Shire and local produce to markets. The industry to our, our council's future is extremely important because we're a very large agricultural shire and to get our product from farm to the bulkhead uh, is mainly by road and by heavy vehicle. And it's not only about getting our product out, but it's also getting all our supplies in. It's very important to keep the trucks rolling. Um, they don't generate a lot of income when they're parked in the yard. With council, if we need a permit to move heavy machinery or something other than stock, you need it tomorrow or something like that because the farmers want to move them, yeah. Our turnaround time is successful and is short because of a system that we created when we first took over the permits and that involves a dedicated email and also involves multiple staff having access to that email and a system whereby when we receive the email we acknowledge it straight away so the other staff know that someone is then addressing it and then we process it quickly and, and also the dedication of the staff to know this is a priority job. They're very good to deal with. They seem to know what's going on and they want to help. They, they re I think they realise that uh, industry such as ours and many others in this town here need them and they've got, it to, they've got to keep the industry in town to survive. We have an open door policy at council and it's far better for people to come and say look I've got a bit of an issue with this or there's a rail crossing or you know there are constraints that we need to talk about. Our turnaround time is now very 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 quick because this spreadsheet we quickly put in the roads that we they, they want, we put the roads that they want in then we look at the conditions they want and if we previously uh, did a permit for the similar conditions, it'll pop up that these roads were passed or not, and the turnaround time is then down to a couple of days, quite simply. And it reduces the workload of the staff because when we're initially looking at a new permit with new conditions, we have to go out and inspect the road, we have to look at the culverts, we have to look at all the, inter all the intersections, but we don't have to do that multiple times. We want to have a system that shows that we've been out there before. There's now a recognition there that you really need to have a permit, but it hasn't happened overnight and it hasn't been easy and I take my hat off to our council staff. Look, council staff in general feel that accessible. We live and work in this community, so we want to be there for the community and we want to ensure that we're giving the best service to the community. They all have our mobile phone numbers. They know they can ring us any time. Well, I think any council, all councils, have got to try and be responsible and helpful to the transport industry or any industry to because it's all part of the community and it helps the council survive. So we don't want to have to leave because we don't have jobs and employment. We want to stay here. It's our home. It's, it's our area and we need to have our costs as low as possible for our farmers, graziers, producers um, to get their product out and to get fertiliser in and everything else. One of the biggest costs that our farmers face is the cost of getting the grain and the, the product that they grow to port. The trucking industry is moving ahead. There are big modifications to the trucking industry that's happening with the implementation of the HML vehicles. You've got the AB triples, they're becoming very common. We'll have bigger configurations of vehicles will be happening in the future. We, we know that'll happen because the cost, we have to bring the costs of production down to stay competitive. But it's very important that we have the best roads possible, that we have the best usage possible, because there's huge scales of economy to be had with the bigger trucks using our roads. It's far better to have a, a bigger truck with better suspension using our roads than it is to have lots of small, older style trucks that are doing a lot of damage to our pave. So we're, we're very aware of the, the need for the heavy vehicle industry in our shire, and it's just hugely important. The council works closely with, with NHVR. We want to encourage applicants to go to the NHVR for their permits, but we're also there as a, for providing a full service to all the operators to the industry because they're going on our roads but we need to maintain the roads but they need to access the roads so it's a real partnership. The best advice I can give to 
interest in other councils is to sit down and talk and yeah, make it happen. It is uh, pretty easy to do. Talking is not hard.